Hey there, everyone, and happy Friday. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News as we wrap up the week. I'm Errol Barnett. And I'm Elaine Quijano. Here's a look at the top stories we are following right now. New data shows employers added 263,000 jobs in the U.S. last month despite high inflation, but not every industry is showing growth. The House committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol is mulling whether or not to refer its findings to the Justice Department. This is the committee has just weeks to release its final report. Some Chinese cities are easing COVID restrictions and it looks like the massive protests across the country played a part in the decision. And later this hour, it's the final day of early voting before Tuesday's runoff election in Georgia. Incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock is looking to fend off his Republican challenger Herschel Walker in the last undecided Senate contest. Plus, wrapping up the royal visit to Boston, what the Prince and Princess of Wales will do on their final day visiting the U.S. Well, we begin this hour with fresh numbers. The U.S. labor market is holding steady, this despite the Federal Reserve's aggressive attempts this year to slow down the economy. The November jobs report showed 263,000 jobs were added last month, while the unemployment rate held at 3.7 percent. Now, fueling those numbers were gains in hospitality, health care, and government jobs. But we're also seeing some major tech and retail firms announce widespread layoffs as well. The New York Times reports Amazon alone is expected to cut 10,000 workers. What does this all mean? Let's bring in CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger to dive through all the details for us. Jill, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Great to see you and have you here with us. Um, these are strong job numbers, but in the context of the Fed trying to cool down the economy, how should we read into the data? Is this positive? negative news for the rest of us. Yes. Okay. That's just a joke. Okay. The, <laughs> yes. the reason why I say that is